On campus, students can now get scholarships for playing video games. This new varsity collegiate sport, called eSports, kicked off for the 2019-2020 school year, and teams are currently practicing and taking part in tournaments. Hey, mercy no rest. Varsity eSports hit college campuses five years ago, and since then, programs have been taking off at many universities across the country. Starting this year, students have been recruited to try out for a varsity team at ONU. So eSports is competitive video gaming, just very similar to um, how you can play basketball with a set of organized rules um, and go into tournaments, go into scrimmages with other universities. Olivet Varsity Esports consists of an array of games which includes Beat Saber, a virtual reality game, and computer games such as Overwatch and League of Legends. Not only will teams travel for competitions, but will also compete at home in the esports facility. Um, a lot of the students that come in um, that I've talked to already just want to be a part of something. They want to be a part of a team. Um, they want to be a part of a community that they just don't have to go online in their dorms and just play with random people. In order to continue being a part of eSports, players must maintain a certain GPA to maintain their rankings within their games. Alongside team gaming, there are many additional supportive roles for individuals in eSports through commentating, streaming, social media, and equipment management. Being that there's only a small handful of, um, um, of our sister schools, um, other Nazarene or Christian universities that compete in this, um, we wanted to take the time, take the chance to uh, um, kind of represent that and show a better light of what this is. Members of the team come to practice and prepare for tournaments at the new space created specifically for eSports. This space is located where Mackay Arena's old concession stand used to be. This space holds 22 gaming stations as well as two screens to monitor the playing. In addition to playing in tournaments for prizes and trophies, the players learn different skill sets and can go into the classroom to learn more about the objectives, which will continuously improve their games and skills. Many unique talents come together to make up Olivet's community. Alongside the varsity teams, students have opportunity to play on junior varsity teams and an academy team for those who want to get involved but don't have the time commitment to practice with a varsity team. For Access ONU, I'm Rachel Barks.